Mosquitoes here are really, really large and they can bite really bad. It's really, really itchy and it gives us marks. We sprayed the city once. We sprayed it twice already uh, within the time frame of the past first rains and the second and third rains that we've had lately. That in an effort to control what was out there already. It's not going to uh, tackle the ones that are flying or hatching right now. These blood-sucking insects pack more than just a nasty bite. As we fall within that section of subtropical climate, we have from 30 to 60 some type of species that are known to carry diseases like dengue and West Nile or chikungunya. So we have them here. That's why we have to be always proactive on controlling the mosquitoes. But these wet weather conditions are not helping efforts to eradicate the pest. Uh, we thought, okay, we got it under control. This spring should, should control it. Well, then the, the wind changed for us, and here comes the northern, and it blew a lot of mosquitoes from the rural county areas that normally we would not see a lot of mosquitoes because those areas normally are dried. Right now they're full of water and they're breeding hundreds of mosquitoes every day. Ramirez says the city of McAllen is working alongside Hidalgo County to eradicate the increased mosquito population in the newly flooded areas. We will be going out there along with the county, but we have to wait for the weather conditions to be appropriate and we need to strategize how we're going to tackle those areas. In coordination with the rest of the cities, they are doing it already, but we need to make a, a very well coordinated effort so all of us can be affected at the same time.